Trump Thank yet to make a 40 Frank. break this evening, but he's 2 1 up against Sean Murphy. Murphy. He's made a couple of key contributions at the right please. time. Big crowd in on this Friday night at the Waterfront Hall. 2 0 to Elliot Slesser against Louis Heathcote on table two in tonight's other quarter final. Best of 11 semis tomorrow, the first one in the afternoon, one o'clock local time. Pang Jung Zhu, who knocked out Neil Robertson against the world champion, Karen Wilson. Murphy's actually ahead on total points in this match, but of course he's lost two close frames. Yeah, another example of a very strong safety shot with perhaps just the edge of the bunch available or the red that's next to the black perhaps, which won't disturb very anything. <laughs> High levels of safety once again in this match between these two. Yeah, there's that highest break, 35 for Trump, but of course it was that key clearance in frame one. And as I mentioned, as we see Murphy take on the red, he's ahead on the aggregate, but none of that This is the frame score. He's not going to change his game, why should he? But he's going to have to start getting them. This red's on to middle. What? There could be a moment in this match just there with the Judd early in. The opportunity to build a couple of frames lead and without jumping the gun because then he just started the break. Should he do that, Murphy wouldn't be very happy because he played a big part in the frames we've seen. Six. But he's only won one of them. Seven. Well, I might fancy the bunch of reds here from the top side of the blue. The way the pink is, and it seems to be pink is actually touching the front few reds in the bunch. You might think that it's a, a good opportunity to get 
have a little dart at these and get them open. Can play on the loose red, but it kind of is delaying the inevitable, really. Doesn't often need a second opportunity, does he? Half decent split, the cue ball not bad on a red. Thirty Jack Trump watching on from the stands. That's Judd's brother, as we know, keeping uh, his distance, but of course he'll be with him at the interval. He'll be enjoying what he's seeing so far, as long as Trump can nail this frame now. 33. Yes, I mean, he keeps his distance when his brother is playing, but also in the main, you know, he's not looking for the limelight, is he? He just does his job and looks after his brother's interests. He's in it for the right reasons. He's trying to help his brother rather than promote himself. 39. 40. Yeah, it looks a natural, didn't it? Just a brush off that red. There he is. Probably happy with what he's seeing on the, what the is he on the assumption that Judd wins this frame and he hasn't done, done so yet. I don't know what the little mid-session chat would be. I don't think it would be too close, perhaps. Not if this frame goes his way. I think he has given him an addressing down on a few occasions. Judd's admitted that he turned matches round. This is a nice little cannon. Yeah. Uh, red directly above, as you saw, is the one that he moved. Now anything's possible in this Four break. Teams. He must have had some uh, some input into the scenario when he was 4-0 down in Saudi in his first match against Wu Yiza. Because he turned it around, looked at a completely different player afterwards. Won the match, won the tournament. It also helps to just have someone doing all the sort of functional stuff like get in the hotel rooms, all that stuff that you don't want to spend your time doing. So all the intensity that Judge Trump has is on the table. And we're seeing the fruits of that again here. What a wonderful chance, not only to win the frame for a 3-1 lead, but to make a big break as well. And give Sean Murphy plenty to think about in the interval. A couple of frames have gone away from Sean Murphy, certainly the opener like he was going to win and then he could have been away couldn't he 64 as it is this is frame ball for 3-1 On all sides of Judd Trump again, haven't we? We've seen uh, the match player who made the steely clearance, telling Snooker in the last frame, set up the chance in this one. It's one visit. Sean Murphy took on that tough red to left corner, didn't get it, left one to right middle. And Trump has done the rest. Looking now to add to his century tally. Currently standing for his career at 1,010. For the season at 30. 79. 85. 86. It's been a, a well-controlled break, and I shouldn't sound surprised, but I was saying earlier that not all of the times that Judd makes big breaks, century breaks. You know, he's got the cue ball under very tight control, but this has been 
Thanks. On those occasions when it has been well controlled, not that many awkward shots over it. Thanks. The course of what he's making. Well, what a way to go to the interval with a century's fourth of the week. And he is in control at the halfway stage of this quarter final. Not only that, he's really upped his game in this frame. 101. This is a shot he's made his own. I don't think I ever saw it played before. Judd played it all around the angles. 108. You know, if he gets it right, I suppose the cue ball just runs about a few inches further across, but the line was terrific. Yes, thank you. Been a pretty effortless break, this one. 113. Not over yet this match, but the, the, the sort of trend was set a little bit in frame one where Murphy did not win it despite that break of 62. So he didn't set it off on a good footing. And in the meantime, Judd's having his own fun now and he's knocking everything in. Yeah, this cue ball is uh, getting a bit of a hammer in. <laughs> and the crowd are loving it. 128. Wonderful stuff. The black for a total clearance of 135. So Judd Trump stole the opener and he goes to the interval with a century. Sean Murphy with a lot to think.